Let's get started by Googling XAMPP. Let's pick the official website and choose the correct installer for the Mac. Mine didn't automatically download, so I clicked the link. I then selected Mac OS. And if you wait a few moments, the download should pop up. Save this. Wait for it to download. And then open the file location. Now, if you double click the installer, you'll get a verification prompt. Depending on your version of Mac OS, you might be able to fix this by going into the privacy and security settings. My version is Sonoma, and I've found that if you right click and open, you'll now get a verification message that allows you to continue. Now you can put in your Mac credentials, then you'll be prompted to allow access to your downloads folder and then your installer will start. Click next, next again and again. It will start the installation process. This took around eight minutes for me. You should now see the Exxon Manager. Let's have a closer look at this. First thing we want to do is start up the MySQL server. Once running it will turn green. The Apache configuration file is where you might edit the login, security, virtual host and URL rewriting. Along with the MySQL config, generally you would leave these as default for a local development environment. A couple of files that might be useful when debugging applications are the Apache access and error logs. The access logs will show you get requests, usually the script fetching resources, or post requests, which for our application will be Ajax requests to the server. More useful still is the error log which is usually a good place to start if your script is failing. OK, let's get a simple app set up. To find your web directory, click the Open Application folder and open up the htdocs directory. This is where you'll create your projects from. The dashboard directory is the default page with all your links to PHP, MyAdmin, etc. So please don't delete this. I'll use Visual Studio Code as my code editor, which is quite a common choice. Sublime Text and Notepad++ are all good alternatives. Once in Visual Studio, I'm going to open up the Applications folder and select XAMPP, then htdocs, our web root directory. I'm going to create a new project folder and call it Project Tracker with a hyphen as spaces don't work well in URLs and you'll end up with an ugly percentage 20 sign in place of the space. We'll create the iconic Hello World page just to check everything is working as expected and open in a browser to localhost and my new path name confirms this is working. Let's create a simple application to test our database and web server by creating and updating and deleting entries. I'll have a detailed tutorial on my channel soon. Firstly, we need to create our database. The easiest way to do this would be to click the Open Application on our XAMP Management Panel, which opens up the dashboard. Here, we'll select PHP MyAdmin. Now, we will click the SQL tab and enter our code. I find it's quicker to describe the table that you want in ChatGPT and request the MySQL code than it is to navigate through PHP MyAdmin, as you can always tweak it afterwards if necessary. Next, to alter the database, don't follow what I just did. Instead, refresh the page first, then select the database you just created on the left hand side. Then, paste the alter table code. This step adds the sorting order column for each of our entries. Now our database is ready, we'll head back over to our index script and paste our front-end code. Create another file called ajax.php. This will contain our back-end functions. And finally, our db.php file that contains our database connection and credentials that will be referenced from the ajax.php file. This is to send and receive to the database. Finally, let's head back over to our browser and have a look at the project by typing in localhost and our new folder name, project-tracker. I'll add a few entries and check the sorting function. A simple CRUD app is a handy way to test all the essential database operations, create, read, update and delete, ensuring your PHP MySQL setup is solid and functional. And finally, we'll have a quick look at the database where we can see our entries have populated the table and amended the sort column. If you want to know how this script works and how to create this CRUD project tracker script, head to my channel below and there'll be a step-by-step -step tutorial. If you can support me by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video, it would mean a lot and really help my channel. Thanks all.